I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to extras Hey, Shalom DC we the Israelite School, University Pack of Knowledge. We come out of One West, 125th Street, out of New York. We come out here to teach every black, Hispanic, and American Indian who they are in the Bible. Because America has labeled us as criminals, as picks and wetbacks and niggas, man. Amer these races, these races Americans, these Americans with no compassion has labeled us as beasts and monsters, man. But according to God, we are his chosen children. According to God, you are the children of Israel. And the reason why we go through our problems, the reason why we are cursed, is because we don't we do not obey our father. And we are out here to teach teach our people to come back to our father so we can rule the earth again with Christ, man. Because Christ is on his way back. Give me uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Let's read, let's read the truth about the Bible. Everybody, let me ask you a question. Everybody got a King James Bible at home, right? We all got a King James Bible at home. That's the way. But due to Christianity, it has, helped, it has made us look at God like he's nothing. We, we either became atheists or turned to some other religion that don't that, that, that has nothing to do with our people, man. So then we're going to tell the truth about Christ and who he died for. According to Christ, Christ died for everybody. But we're going to prove today that that is a lie. Christ did not die for everybody. God did not die for everybody. Did not, did not send Christ to die for everybody. Go ahead. Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. That she is talking about Mary. Mary's going to bring forth a son. And we know that Mary, that Mary birthed Christ. And Mary, God, God did not get Mary pregnant. Mary has sex, just like every, just like every other woman has sex. And get pregnant. Go ahead. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, right? Go ahead, read on. For he shall save his people. For she for he shall save everybody. His people. He shall save, he shall save his people, man. That's a that's a pronoun. We gotta understand that Christ died for his people. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. We gotta understand, man, that we have been duped. And the image of the image of Christ and the reputation of Christ have been perverted by America, man. Um, by, by America and by the Romans, man. These Caucasians are evil and despicable, man. And they know that image is very important. For, so far, so much. They took a black man who was a savior, Jesus Christ, who was black, and made him white. So now, through our, through our slave mentality, when we look at a white man, we look at him like Christ. We look at him like he's holy, when he's the most despicable animal on the earth. He is the most disgusting animal on the earth, man. And he deserves death for his crimes, so his crimes that have been unpunished, man. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went then and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Right, so after, after Christ was speaking, he was leaving. And there was some woman that followed Christ, some woman that followed him and wanted to ask him a question and beg him for something. Go ahead. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. A woman of Canaan, when you read Mark, you'll see that this, this is a Greek woman. 
a white woman came and heard her, her of this famous black man who was curing, who was healing, men, healing men, healing the sick, rising the dead, and making the blind see again. And she thought to ask him for a favor. Go ahead. I cried out to him, saying, have mercy on me, oh Lord. She asked a black, black man to have mercy on her. Go ahead. Thy son of David, my daughter, is grievously vexed with a devil. Right, so this daughter had a, de this daughter had a demon on her. And any time they have a demon, even time, any time you throw that demon, I mean, if you have a demon, Christ will heal you of that sickness, man. Go in. That's, that's what these Catholics get that fake holy water from and that fake exorcism from. They don't have the power to do it. Only only a black man, only an Israelite has the power to cast out demons, man. Go in. But he answered her, not they would. But why would Christ ignore her? If Christ was out healing, why would Christ ignore the white woman? Why, agree. why would Christ all of a sudden, he's going around healing the sick, rising the, rising the dead to make him alive again and make him blind see again? Why would he ignore this woman? Let's read on. Go ahead. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away. And it says, and it's, even, her, even the disciples, I mean, after Christ ignored her, she came and begged Christ's disciples to heal her daughter of her demon. Even the disciples ignored this white woman, this Greek woman. Go ahead, let's find out why. Go ahead. For she cried after us. Verse 24. Because she cried after us. Christ sent her away. She cried, she's begging us now. Go ahead. But he answered her and said, I am not sent. Listen up, Christ told this woman this. If you think Christ was sent for everybody, and Christ died for everybody on the earth, Matthew 15 and 24 will rock your world, man. And it's, just, it's, gonna, it's gonna make you scratch your head. Read Matthew 12, 15 and 24. If you think Christ died for everybody, go ahead. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said he was sent for who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said he was only sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All you gotta do is turn to Matthew 15 and 24. And who is the lost sheep of the house of Israel? We got an Israelite sound right here. If you are black, Hispanic, they're American Indian. If you Cuban, Dominican, Jamaican, if you if you Guyana, man, if you Puerto Rican, if you Mexican, you are the chosen children of Israel. And nobody else, man. The Lord got 12 tribes, man. 12 tribes of chosen children of Israel. And these fake, these fake Jewish people today. These white people who claim they're Jews, the reason they claim, the, the reason it's so significant, so, so significant to them, is because they know that those people have a blessing coming. That those people are the chosen people, and they want to be chosen too, but they cannot. They not, those Jewish people who are, who, who, those white people who claim to be Jews are nothing but thieves. They are thieves of our, of our culture. They're the ones that told black people, you nothing but niggas, and then they took the glory of being the chosen children of God. And the eyes should be K out here is to tell you that black and Hispanic men, you are the chosen children of God. All you gotta do is come back and follow these commandments. Open up, open up, up, follow these commandments. Christianity is not the way. Islam is not the way. Being a Buddhist is not the way. Those philosophies is not gonna work. You gotta follow the commandments of God, that's it. But the Lord ain't take, the Lord did not tell us to be Baptist. The Lord did not tell us to be Episcopalian. The Lord did not tell us to be Christian. The Lord did not tell us to be Muslim. He gave us laws. Do not steal, do not kill your brother. Do not have sex with another woman's, with another man's woman. That's it. Do not be a witch. Which is today, do not, which is today a witch is a drug dealer. Somebody that deal with drugs, pills, and all that. That is today what, the, what God would consider a witch. The Lord never gave us religion. He gave us laws. Just like today, you know, you know not to run a red light. If you want a red light and, a, and, a, and the law is there, you'll be punished by the law, correct? You know not to steal. If you're caught by the law stealing, the law will arrest you. And simply, and that's how simple the Bible is. Just laws. Just laws, not religion did nothing before black people, but separate us. Cause now, cause now like when I was in high school, when I went to high school on Minnesota Avenue, I had, you, you got black Muslims, both was black, but because he Muslim, and, and if I got beef with another Muslim, he think, oh, that's my Muslim brother, that's my aunt brother, that's my aunt. You ain't gonna beef with him, you ain't gonna say nothing with him. When, when Negro, both of us is Negro, both of us is black, both of all of us, no matter if you Muslim, no matter if you Christian, we black and we'll get shot by the cops. No matter if you Christian or Muslim, we black and Hispanic, and it's still, we still gonna be racist, we still gonna be, it's still gonna be prejudice against us. 
There's still gonna be people who are gonna be racist against us because of because we are Negro and Latino, man. That's how stupid religion is. It's so dumb, where it's though we not even follow we we not even follow our laws. The the philosophy is separating Negroes. That's ridiculous. That's a stupid. If you really think about it, that's so dumb. Go ahead. So we read about when Christ said he died for the 12 tribes of Israel. Read 15 and 24. Go ahead. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So why would Christ, if Christ died for everybody, why did Christ in Matthew, Matthew 15 and 24 say that he died for who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. He died, he, he died, he was sent for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We got to find out who the Israelites are. We gotta find out who the Israelites are because if we're not Israel, if, if we're not Israelites, then we ain't gonna be delivered. There is never gonna be no blessing for us, man. Go ahead. Then came she and worship and said, Lord, help me. Uh, give me, you gonna drop that. Give me Acts chapter 5, verse 30. Let's find out who Christ died for, man. Give me Acts 5 and 30. Let's find out who Christ died for. Cause, uh, cause, uh, man, give me that impossible. Uh, that, that quickly, let me grab, grab that quickly. Go on. Go in. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our fathers. Raise up Jesus. So the God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Go ahead. Whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him and God exalted with his right hand. So God, so God exalted Christ to do what? To be a prince and a savior for to give repentance. So Christ died. He did die for some people. And he did die to give us repentance. But, but who is Christ going to give uh, repentance to? To Israel. To who? To Israel. To Israel, man. Christ is a black man who died for Israelites. Hebrew Israelites, if you if you if you are a black man, it don't matter if you're a black Christian, a black Muslim, or a black atheist, you are a Jew, man. No matter if you like it or not, you are a Jew. You are chosen children of God. You are an Israelite, man. And, and a black man that Christ died for us. But the confusion with Christianity is they got this image right here. This image have destroyed the black community. This image have destroyed the Latino community, man. Simply, if we knew a black man died for us and had some honor for us, it will give us honor. Because a lot of us are inspired by heroes. Now, if we look at Christ like the ultimate hero, and we think he's a white man, that's why you're gonna look at every white man that walked the earth. You're gonna have that slave mindset. You're gonna, you're gonna know that he's evil, but you'll always, you will always forgive him. That is the issue, man. Just like, just like when the cop walked into, walked into the black man's house and shot him in his house. You got another cop that walked into a woman's house in, 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 in Texas and shot her in her house. You got a brother, you got, you got the brother that died, a brother Gene who died, the brother hugged the woman. The reason the brother hugged the woman is because she seen this image right here. She seen this image right here. And every time somebody gets shot or get killed by a racist cop or a white man, you never you, you are angry for them for only a time. Then after that, and then after that, that time is over and you love white people again, man. And it's simply because of who we who we think I who we think our, our savior is. Our savior is not a black man. He was not our savior is not a white man. He's a black man named Jesus Christ, man. And he was not sick. He did not die for everybody. Who did Christ die for? Read it again from the top. But he answered and said, I am not sick. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He was not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Go ahead. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him that God exalted with his right hand. God exalted Christ with his right hand, uh-huh. To be a prince and a savior. We know Christ is a prince and a savior, but we were told that we were told that Christ, through Christianity, we were told that Christ was a savior. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
For to give repentance to Israel. For to give repentance to Israel. To give repentance unto Israel, man. To give repentance unto Israel. That's all we gotta do, man. Christ was sent for every black man. It don't matter, like I said, it don't matter if you're Christian, if you're atheist, or if you're Muslim, man. You are a Jew. You are a chosen children, chosen child by God. You're supposed to gather together and, and know who your enemy is. Your enemy is the one who take down your heroes and paint your heroes white. That, that's, who, that's who your enemy is. Any, any time you have a black hero and they want to paint him white, you know this must be some up to, up, must up to be some importance, man. Christ is important to black people because he is a savior and he is the one who is coming to save black people, man. <laughs> Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.